Um, my first question is, uh, in which way is uh, your work, uh, your uh, architectural research, improving uh, the quality of life? In a well, few that's, words. A, that's a hard one, uh, hard to say. But I think uh, we, we try to develop new ideas that are can be important for the future, for the future. Yeah. And so therefore, uh, de developing new typologies or new and uh, small inventions can be. Uh, it's something that we try to do, but that, that's more interesting than repeating some, uh, some similar things. So of course, some, not always possible to invent a new, new thing all the time, but uh, in, the, in the course of time, I think we, we, uh, we have an interesting collection of, of ideas that we, uh, we, 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 so we try to improve here and there where possible. Yeah. Do you imagine your buildings in uh, 100 years? Well, it's, it's, as an architect, yeah, the, the time is an issue that time is important. So buildings last longer than you. Hopefully. Do you imagine yeah. your work uh, when you believe in it? Well, no, you know, you're, not, you're not always doing this when you're working on it. But of course, uh, uh, you imagine what happens when 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 building is there in 20 years, or in 30 years, or 50 years. Will it be there? Some some buildings might be uh, have a short lifespan, uh, yeah. and others are are built for forever, so to say, you never know. And uh, I think it's good to know from the beginning what, what is the, 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 the aim. And now maybe everything is built with the same time span, so some places buildings should be uh, have a longer life, yeah. so that can be also a bit more expensive. In other places they say, well, maybe it's only for 30 years and then we should get rid of it. Okay. Because now we need it and we might not need it anymore. Okay. So uh, that also is important in relation to the urban planning. And, and, and you see that some places are now have less population and others have a shift in, in the, in the, towards the cities. And what will, what will you do then with, the, 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 with these places or these, neighbor, these villages that are emptying out? Do you, you destroy them? So, so, this, so the, you, you, should, you should be, of course, it's also very risky to, be, uh, to plan uh, towards a certain ideal and then in the future it might not happen. And it's also a bit silly. So, to be slightly neutral or flexible uh, and not too specific uh, can be smart. Yeah. Uh, do you find um, an inspiration from uh, other kind of arts uh, like uh, painting, music? Yeah, well, I think every, uh, uh, yeah, I like cultural uh, expressions in many ways. Yeah. But it's hard to say uh, that you have a literal thing. I think everybody just well, by seeing and traveling and reading and you get. Smart. You can link things to, to each other, and but it's not that uh, I look at a painting every day and be inspired, and then I start working. So it's, <laughs> it's not like that anymore. You have so much things happening and entering your brain. Okay. So uh, yeah. Um, another question: One billion people mm -hmm. worldwide uh, live uh, in uh, slums, mm -hmm. okay? And the uh, number of uh, slum uh, uh, dwellers uh, is rising. Mm -hmm. Um, have you ever worked on or uh, considered to work, at the, to work on an um, archi architectural solution? Yeah, well, uh, and when I was teaching in the uh, university, we did some work in South Africa and the uh, townships. Uh, so I think, yeah, it's, you, where you see it's always a balance of people building themselves yeah. and the uh, facilities uh, for the infrastructure and, and the services. So that relation is very important. To do a little bit to make, to help them do the do the rest, and instead of making everything finished. So you have to just provide a few things to make life easier there. That I think that's already a lot of so is there studies a are being solution? done on this. That, that I think is, is an important thing that's already happening. And uh, for as architects, we are yeah we we are involved in small projects for. Uh, you know, I'm going to show uh, the New Orleans project that we're doing uh, for the Katrina uh, victims, so to say. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, so that's affordable housing. Um, and that's there, yeah, so it's nice to, to be able to be also doing rich villas, but also tiny, yeah. uh, economic, uh, mini, mini, cheap stuff. And um, yeah, I would say uh, that, yeah, it's interesting to combine. But of course, we're not developers, uh, development, development uh, uh, yeah, uh, it was, um, yeah, I mean, not so much. Of course, there's also 
as an architecture depending on the chances you get. That we're not. That's, I think when you are, let, yeah, we're not going out to hunt for projects in, in the slums. But on the other hand, when you have a problem, sometimes you can do with research and study projects. You, you are able to participate something. This kind of problem should be solved by politics, but well, there is a... Uh, architects, I think you can, you can visualize and explain the possibilities. Okay. Uh, another question is about uh, your... Um, I know your group is trying to seek um, an architectural solution to ecological issues. To what? To? Ecological, ecological issues. Yeah, yeah. So, um, for example, I think um, Big City mm -hmm. is very interesting. Yeah, it is indeed a is ecological the, project as well. I higher rise for the vertical farm, a real possible solution for yeah, well, more than you think. Not maybe not literally as we as we explained in this big city, but uh, on a smaller scale, uh, it's already happening in the Netherlands that uh, farming is done in a different way. Uh, it's a different mindset. Of course, people in, in start thinking it's not good for the animals, but on the other hand, you could buy by expanding by combining urban places with food production. Uh, you can also make people aware of uh, what they're eating. And, and, uh, so we did a study actually for uh, a farm in the center of the, of the city, in The Hague. Should be possible yeah. Uh, yeah. in a city, in a town like Rome? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> why not? Because I think there's a lot of interest in, in high quality food uh, in, in, in the Western world. And, uh, I think in Tokyo you also have the Tokyo Black And they, they, they are living in the city. Okay. And uh, they're also farmers producing local food. This is more and more, well, in certain countries, uh, becoming more important where is the stuff coming from. And, uh, and so there, if you, why not? Why you can find a good spot? Yeah. Okay. The last question mm -hmm. um, a lady over there asked me to mm -hmm. ask uh, mm -hmm. which is the first uh, building, your own, own building, uh, that will be. Finish the next year. Oh, right, right. No, the next year we are the, the, the one that is on the construction is in Lyon, in France. It's, yeah. That's quite. F uh, but I think the first one is actually a tiny house in England. It's in, a, in England. Ah, it's yeah. a holiday house. Holiday house. Uh, it's called a balancing barn. Okay. And it's a holiday house, which is a long house, cantilevering from the hill. Mm -hmm. uh, and this will be finished, I think, before the summer. Yeah. Do you have some projects uh, for Rome? No. No, 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 we have been doing some Do you competitions. Plan to uh, we sometimes try to get in competitions. We did once join the Bologna station competition, yeah. and uh, I think we we were close, but we did we did, we did get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we made a nice proposal, but it was uh, somehow we got for the Japanese uh, solution. <laughs> yeah. That's all. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much.